SLB here, your uh, sole entertainment. So, <laughs> um, here's a joke for you. Why the chicken cross the road? Because it was a poultry task. <laughs> uh, sorry, that joke was kind of... Um, <clears throat> sorry. Ah, dang, I, I messed up the rest of the joke. Ah, well. I guess that's kind of a hard joke to mess up anyways. Uh, and are we getting into it? All right, so grand finals. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So we've got we've got Hito versus uh, Nato, Nito and Mejia. Gotcha. So congratulations to both these competitors for getting this far, and let's see what they have in store for us. Uh, so far, um, Hito just kind of on a tear right now. Uh, ZSS just dominating neutral, much like he did against Steve. Um, however, uh, it's overlooking some of Nito's gameplay, um, the combo game on this guy is absolutely crazy. Um, he can turn this around in a dime, perfectly appropriate for a fighting character. Speaking of turning around on a dime, that was a fantastic string. Um, being able to clean that up ZSS style with a classic down smash up B combo. Um, so far on stock lead. However, this is definitely not over yet. Um, ooh, uh, a little bit of a flub there. That, that probably wouldn't have worked either way. Um, CSS down B, in case you guys don't know, um, the top part of the down B when she rises up doesn't grab ledge. Uh, so that must have been a misinput. A little bit of a shame because uh, Hito kind of gave up uh, some... some definite stage advantage. However, it doesn't seem to phase him at all. Um, putting on a 70% string here in just a few seconds, kind of re-establishing his dominance in the neutral. However, uh, Nato has something else that he has to say about this. Let's see here. Oof! There goes a Shoryuken. Rather even percentages, um, however, um, however, uh, let's see here. However, Nito um, does have the heavier character here, so technically is is advantageous for him to be at a higher percentage, um, getting that rage percentage there, just like that up smash, taking the second stock. This has been a very close game so far. Um, assuming that SD didn't happen, probably would have had a little bit more advantage in neutral right now um, stock count probably look a little bit different but you know what it's still incredibly close um, Mejia doing a really good job of just keeping dominance over neutral um, and taking all these favorable trades to kind of start to get back to even here um, and kind of resetting things a little bit keeping in space using his using Mihia using ZSS's superior mobility to just kind of dart around a little bit and try not to try to reestablish neutral here, which seemed to be working. This is very, very close, and a sure you can take it. All right, so game one going to Nito. Nito is on winner's side, mind you, so if Nito takes this. Uh, match, then it is the end of the tournament. So he has a little bit of work to do here um, as a six needs a six wins in order to get this grand finals tournament. So let's go ahead and support our boys here. Both of them are doing an excellent job. Getting some great smash here today. So if you guys like the stream, make sure to support us. Follow us on Twitch or give us a sub if you appreciate the content you're watching today. Okay, game two on PS2, a pretty safe pick. Um, I actually like this pick a lot. Um, PS2 still has pretty low ceilings, and it's going to be more challenging for Nito to kind of get those uh, confirmed kills unless he goes for more Shoryukens. Uh, not really going to get any kills off the side of the stage. However, ZSS with her superior mobility might do a pretty good job of just uh, using the larger stage, doing a good job of just maintaining maintaining neutral um, and kind of dominating stage presence so hopefully that's the game plan here um, and just that's what it seems to be like um, again 
pretty close. These competitors are very, both very, very good at what they do. And this is very hard to say what, which player is going to take this lead. So, okay, let's see what we got. I like the use of whip here to kind of just, oh my goodness, okay, didn't even give me time to process that one. That was a 73% kill string with a Shoryuken. Um, that's kind of what I was afraid of, even though um, it's generally harder for um, for Ryu to kill on this map uh, besides something like Shoryuken. Uh, he's not going to be able to kill off the sides, but um, that's where ZSS is going to kind of dominate with her ability to edge guard and her superior mobility. But um, getting those early kills off CSS is basically going to be the defining factor in this round. So maybe there could be enough of an opportunity to um, for uh, for Mejia to um, again get maybe get an early kill himself. Ooh, it's another sure you can combo. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty close round, I would have to say. So, however, this is a bad position for Mejia, even though there is rage there. So the potential for an early gimp kill with up B or down smash to up B is possible um, with that higher rage percentage. Uh, the possibility of dying off the side or the top is a lot higher at this percentage, considering how light CSS is, so anything is possible. Trying to fish out some options here. I really haven't seen any grabs whatsoever, though. Uh, maybe that's just because Ryu has been doing a pretty decent job staying airborne, surprisingly. <laughs> but... Um, maybe a few grabs could do a good, good job intercepting some of, uh, some of Nido's defensive options here, and could be a decent opportunity for, uh, Mejia to kind of maybe snatch a couple kills here, but... Sorry we got a little bit of, um, technical talk in the background, so if any of you hear that, then my sincerest apologies. <laughs> Again, the thing is kind of just resetting back to uh, both players being very patient right now. I think that Nito has a lot more leverage to be patient with that stuff. Okay, well, <laughs> man, both these players are absolutely on fire. Um, it's difficult to talk about the neutral because it just evaporates so fast. Just like that, another Shoryuken combo. And that is going to be game two in Nito's pocket. One more, and the tournament is over. And make sure to stick around later, guys. Um, let me just confirm. We're doing the crew battle, right? Yeah, okay. So make sure you guys stick around because after this grand finals, we have a crew battle here with everyone at Shark Tank. The Sharks are in a frenzy, and we are going to be fighting, duking it out one-on-one -on -one to see whose squad is the top. So make sure you guys stick around for that. And again, continue to support the stream if you like the content you're watching. Game three. All right. So... Nito has kind of been on a tear here, and I think the biggest uh, defining factor in this game has been uh, Nito's ability to close out stocks, especially how early he's been able to close out stocks. Ryu is definitely no slouch in kill power, but being able to kill ZSS, even a lighter character at like 70 to 80%, um, just makes every interaction feel like it could be kill potential. And uh, without... Mejia being able to capitalize some early kills himself with something like down B or up B. Um, Ryu's heavier weight has just allowed him to stay alive way longer than anyone's business. So uh, this has been a bit of a challenge for Mejia to overcome. However, based on what we're seeing right now, this could be the start of a... Oh, well, okay. Hadouken! <laughs> Hadouken! <laughs> yeah, that's about right. So, we've... Uh, so we've uh, kind of gotten back to a place where he, where Nido is just ahead in stock count and ahead in neutral. And these early stock interactions and kind of solidifying these kills has really made a massive difference in this game. Um, unless Mejia does something 
really quickly to turn this around. Uh, this might be game over. Um, let's see what he's got up his sleeve. You can't count out ZSS, uh, ZSS's uh, mobility. That was an excellent scoop. Um, catching the rather linear recovery from Ryu with a up, disjointed up B. Uh, very smart stuff. Love to see it. We need more of that the rest of this round in order for you to catch up to a game four. So let's see what happens. I'm, uh, I'm rooting for Mejia here. Lift up your arms. Spirit bomb power time. Give Mejia your power. All right. If he holds on to this stock long enough, then maybe this could be prime opportunity for a comeback. ZSS Rage is nothing to scoff at. And so far, these exchanges have been favorable for him. So, uh, let's hope there's no commentator's curse here. Oh. Oh, that is a solid back air. Okay, last stock. Nito is sitting pretty right now. As long as he holds on to this stock, this could be it. Ryu's heavyweight is going to make it a bit of a challenge for ZSS to take this, but... You know, I anything is possible with a character that can kill off the ceiling at 100%. So, speaking of which, Hadouken! <laughs> more like whip. Watch me whip. And Mejia is like, hold my T. Watch me whip as I go ahead and up smash here. Use my multi-hit uh, moves to kind of just disrupt this down B focus and get in some absolutely needed pressure right now. One exchange could be the end of this tournament, however, so he has got to play extra careful. Really has to respect Ryu's space right now. And so far, it seems like Hadouken! he didn't do it. Well, congratulations to both these competitors. Nido is your grand finals champion for Shark Tank number four. Thank you, everybody, for enjoying this round of the tournament, and hopefully you get to catch